Hello viewers, I am Manoranjan Burman and you are watching my YouTube channel Medical Lab Tech. Today I am going to explain how to prepare 5% and 10% red cell suspension in the laboratory. So there are many uses of 5% and 10% red cell suspension in the laboratory. So 10% red cell suspensions you can use in blood grouping by slide method. For blood grouping by slide method, you can use 45% red cell suspension also. So if you take whole blood, it will be 45% red cell suspension. Because uh, if you talk about the pack cell, there will be 45% of pack cells. 5% red cell suspensions can be used in blood grouping by tube method, compatibility testing in blood bank, which is known as uh, cross matching, then Coombs test. And for determination of RH antibody also, we need 5% red cell suspension. So here in this video, I'm going to explain how we are going to prepare 5% and 10% red cell suspension. So please stay tuned. The requirements for preparation of 5% and 10% red cell suspensions are, we need two glass test tube, then we need blood sample. Blood sample should be EDTA blood sample. And only the packed cell or the sedimented red cells are required for the test whole blood is not required then Pasteur pipette micro pipette for measuring the 50 microliter of sedimented red cells then normal saline which will be mixed with the sedimented red cells finally we need a centrifuge machine to centrifuge all the mixture of blood and normal saline next is the procedure we have to take two glass test tube and mark it as 5% and 10%. We have to add 50 microliter of sedimented blood cells into both the tube. You can use 0.5 ml or 5 drops of blood also. Add normal saline to the two third of the test tube and mix it well. After mixing the normal saline with blood, the tube will look like this. Then centrifuge both the tube for 1 to 2 minutes at 1500 rpm. Pour the supernatant after centrifugation by inverting the test tube. Add 4 ml of normal saline into the tube which is marked as 5% and it will be the 5% red cell suspension. Then add 2 ml of normal saline into the tube which is marked as 10% and this will make 10% red cell suspension. So now your 5% and 10% red cell suspensions are ready. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and comment. And those who are new to my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.